In Cinema 4D Release 19, Maxon improved the FBX exporter, making it easier to transfer objects with multiple levels of detail from Cinema 4D into your game engine. In this video, I'll be showing the workflow for exporting an LOD object from Cinema 4D to Unity. Okay, here I have that same model, and included in this file is the 6.8 million triangle original. And if I go into my display settings here and choose garage shading lines, you'll quickly discover that it is so dense that every single polygon takes up less than a pixel from this distance. So I have to zoom or dolly in quite a bit here before I can even see the individual edges that make up this object. Now, this is probably too dense even for a film project or an animation project in Cinema 4D, let alone a real-time game engine. So this is just not going to work. So what I've done is I have reduced the model down to uh, 65,535 points, which is the stated limit of the importer for Unity. So I'm just going to go ahead and export this out. So I'm going to select this model, go to File, Export, and choose FBX. And I'm going to go to my Unity Project, Assets, and I'm going to replace my Napoleon FBX with this object that I have selected. Now it's going to ask if I want to replace it. I'm going to say yes. And there are a couple things I want to point out. Uh, first is that I have the option of exporting only the selected object. And that is pretty incredible from a workflow standpoint. This means that I can have my original source object as well as all of my other tests and samples and so forth in the same Cinema 4D project without having to maintain a separate one for my export or without having to resort to using a plugin like CV Smart Export. So uh, I have selection only turned on and I'm just gonna turn off my cameras and uh, at least for now, I'm gonna turn off LOD name suffix and I'm gonna choose okay. Now, this model is going to get exported to Unity and you'll see that it's taking a minute to uh, calculate this, and that's because this is a pretty dense mesh. And uh, we are pushing the upper limits of what Unity says that it can accept. And in fact, if we look at our model here, we're going to see it's got a series of submodels, mesh part zero, mesh part one, two, three, four. And that's because the way that Unity counts vertices and the way that Cinema 4D counts points is a little bit different. In Cinema 4D, it's just physical points that get counted, whereas in Unity, any point that's going to get sent to the graphics card is registered as a separate point. So anytime in Cinema 4D you've got a hard edge that's broken, like for example, uh, right along here, anytime there is a UV texture map shading border, that duplicates the points in those areas, and that adds to your total point count, and that won't get counted. So what I found is a good sort of safe upper limit when I'm using the polygon reduction object is 32 and a half thousand triangles. If you shoot for this number, you're not going to run into this mesh splitting issue. So let's just now take a look at our LOD object in Cinema 4D. I've got uh, my LOD right here and each of my sub models uh, is at a different resolution. 5K, 1.5K, half K. And uh, this certainly doesn't look good. You'd be better off hand modeling, but uh, let's just play around with this. So now let's export this LOD object to Unity. I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX. And I'm just going to show you one more issue that shows up before we uh, do a full proper working export. So I'm going to save this to my Assets folder under Objects. Save it as napoleon.fbx and choose to replace it. And choose OK. Now, back in Unity, my object is going to get imported again. And this time, I see that I've got the master object named Napoleon and each of my sub-objects. But they're not actually uh, being imported as an LOD stack. And that's because Unity is very picky about how it imports objects. And the main point here is this LOD naming convention. So every object has to be suffixed with LOD0, LOD1, LOD2, uh, with an underscore just before. Now we could certainly go into Cinema 4D and manually type those in. 
But if I want to add in an intermediate step between LOD0 and LOD1, I'd have to go in there and then rename every subsequent LOD. So I'm going to actually skip that, and I'm going to use my slightly more descriptive names, including the number of triangles or points, and take advantage of another new feature in the FBX exporter. So I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX, and go to Unity LOD, Assets, Objects, Napoleon.FBX, replace this, and here is the magic moment. Turn on LOD name suffix. Click on this check mark and choose OK. Now, having done this, when I come back into Unity, my object is going to be re-imported, and you'll notice that each of the objects is actually suffixed with the appropriate LOD level. And as I look inside of Unity here, I've also got an LOD group attached to my Napoleon object. So as I slide this slider here, you'll see that we're switching in between these different resolutions. And you'll see that my active LOD bias is set to 0.2 and that distances are adjusted accordingly. And this just basically controls how quickly we're going to fade into one object and then another. So to change that, just go to Edit, Project Settings, Quality. And inside of here, the LOD bias option can be changed. It defaults to 2. I'm going to set it to uh, 1. The higher this number, the higher quality the object that you're going to see. 0 to 1 is going to give you uh, your lower resolutions, and anything above 1 is really just going to stick almost entirely with your higher resolution models. So now as I dolly out, it takes a little bit longer. I'm a little bit further away before that transition happens. So in a really big game uh, with a large world, that's going to become an advantage. So to quickly review, what you need is an object that has fewer than 65,535 points as Unity sees and recognizes them. I tend to shoot for 32,000 and a half triangles as my upper limit, and you should probably shoot for less if you can. I build my different LOD versions, and I'm using the polygon reduction object to generate those. You throw them inside of an LOD object, and then you want to go to File, Export, FBX. And as you're exporting your FBX, again, You want to ensure, ensure that LOD name suffix is activated. And in this case, selection only is appropriate because I don't want my higher resolution objects to get included in this export. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this interesting or helpful, you may want to check out the rest of our What's New in Cinema 4D Release 19 videos here on Cineversity. You can subscribe or stay tuned over the next few months for more quick tips and reference videos.